Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is, remember we talked about two different ways to graphing lines. One, we talked about finding our x and y intercepts, especially when you have a problem that's in standard form. And then we also talked about putting it in y equals mx plus b form, our slope intercept form, and graph it that way. Now, I will tell you, um, a lot of you, you know, when it's in standard form, you prefer to find the x and y intercepts. A lot of times, depending on the solution, uh, that might make it a little bit more difficult. So for solving systems, I am going to prefer to solve, set it into y equals mx plus b form. All right? And the reason why is I can follow the slope to every single point that's on the line, so the intersection should be a little bit more clear for me. Because remember, we want to find where these two lines intersect if they do at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up each equation, and I'm going to solve. And I'm going to solve for y, so it's going to be an mx plus b form. So to get y by itself, I first need to subtract 3x on both sides. So I get negative 2y equals a negative 3x plus 4. Right? We like to write the negative 3x instead of the 4. Then I need to divide by the negative 2. So I have y equals negative 3 divided by 2 is a positive 3 halves x. 4 divided by negative 2 is a minus 2. Now, a lot of you might say, ooh, fraction, I don't like it. But remember, this is our slope. So this is actually going to be very helpful when we go ahead and um, try to graph this line. So the next one, let's write, we have 2x minus y equals 1. Now, I'm just going to get the y by itself, right? So I could subtract the 2x and then divide by negative 1. However, for this problem, I'm actually going to add the y to the other side. So I have 2x equals 1 plus y. And then I'll just subtract the 1. So my final answer is y equals 2x minus 1. So now, how do you graph, guys, how do you graph these two equations? Well, remember, your equations we're going to set up with an x and a y axis. All right. So remember, when it's in y equals mx plus b form, we put it in this form so we could remember a couple things. This is your y-intercept. Right? And it's your y-intercept at 0, comma b. So I'm going to go down. So I look at here, and I say my y-intercept's at negative 2. That means this graph crosses at negative 2. So I go down to negative 2, and I make a nice little dot. Then it says my slope is going to be 3 over 2. And remember, because your m is your slope, Remember, slope we represent like as a ri rise over run. It's the change in your x or change in your y values or the change in your x values. So I'm going to go up three, one, two, three over two. So that's going to take me to my next point. You could also do a negative or negative because that would still be positive. You could also go down three, one, two, three to the left two. And then I connect my two point or connect my points, and I have my line. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen a lot of people graphing. And they're not putting the arrows, right? When we're graphing lines, they have infinite length. So make sure you create those uh, arrows at the end. The next one, it says 2x minus 1. So now this one goes down at negative 1, right? So my, but my slope is a 2. Well, how do you do change in y over change of x? It's going to be your change. Um, you need to make sure you have to write this as a fraction. So actually, we're going to want to make sure we write as a fraction with 2 over 1. So therefore, I'm going to go up 2 over 1. And if I keep going like that, I notice that these aren't going to graph. However, if I go down 2 to the left one, we notice that they, if my graphs are a little bit OK, but we notice that they intersect at a certain point. So what was that point? That point was at negative 1, 2, 3 over 4. So we could say the solution is at the point of negative 1, comma, negative 3. Because that is the intersection. All right. So then we look at our solution. Is it consistent or inconsistent? Since we have, um, since we have a solution, it is consistent. And then is it independent or dependent? Since we only have one solution, it is going to be an independent solution. So it's independent, consistent solution. And we can just write our solution as the coordinate point, because at that coordinate point, our two graphs are equal to each other for x and y. All right? That's 